No smoke green, bro. Music and weed is all you need. Believe me. Fucking 420 every day. It's got me so much to do. R to the O to the P to the S. I mean, I'm a fucking Don from the Southwest. You know, trying to write some music and that. Hey, I was writing before. Fucking, what are we doing today? So you just come to the area, you know, you know, just fucking kick them back, but you know. Community service yesterday, fucking got parole next week. Shit's fucking full on, I tell ya. Fuck, I got done for Sky's Law. And then boom, I got done again when I turned fucking 90, you know, still on bail. That fucked me over hard. Ended up getting fucking sent to M. Laurel, and then I got fucking bail. Ended up fucking speaking to a bloke and that, and he helped me out a bit. Got a two year ICO order, two year community corrections order, two year good behaviour bond. Not allowed to fucking get my license for five years. Big fine. And it just fucks the music, you know, because I can't leave yeah. the state. I can't fucking. Like, I was supposed to go to 50 50. I couldn't go to 50 50 because I can't leave the state, you know, I'll get breached. Yeah. Now, there's loopholes, so we're gonna work around it. So I'm just gonna try and do that, so then bang, fuck it, I can start fucking leaving fucking Sydney and that, you know, go fucking Melbourne and shit. Yeah. Start doing shit like that. I grew up everywhere, lad. Originally, yeah, I was bored. They raised the bros better. I moved from Rosie, they ended up moving to Claymore. I spent fucking most of my childhood in Claymore, you know, running a muck and that fucking doing shit, you know. And then um, I ended up moving out from fucking there, and I ended up going to move out to my mum. She lived out in like the bush and out at Tamil. Going out, I was out there for a bit, you know, and fucking I got into some trouble, you know, influenced the wrong, like some kids, you know, to do some shit and that. Ended up getting them into some shit. I moved from there and I come to like fields. This is in like 2012 or something. When, oh, see, I started rapping when I was what? I was like seven when I started rapping. I used to fucking rap in this little workshop and that at fucking my behaviour school. They brought out like a computer and that, some beats and shit, you know. And then I stopped for a bit. I started hanging around fucking a couple of boys from around here. And then boom, they used to play instrumentals. And I used to just freestyle and start fucking dissing every cunt that I was with, you know, to start talking shit. I uploaded a video or something. My mate recorded off an iPhone. And then I ended up fucking, that was that, I don't know, kind of fucked with it, you know what I mean? It was just like a little rhythm. I kept on writing and writing. I started writing probably, probably like 2000, 2015. I wasn't really fucking with like, you know, every time from the Oz scene. And then bang, I fucking, I started getting into the scene myself, you know, and then that was it. I started fucking, fucking, you know, talking to Enta. I started talking with everyone. I met up with Dills. That's when I met up with Dills one love. Dills messaged me. And then bang, I got on board with him. He fucking he used to come out, record me. I done five one takes with him. Smashed that out. I only started doing it, like taking it serious, like last year, but like, in that one year, I reckon in one year what I've done, I reckon it's fucking massive. I'm just keep on growing, cuz keep on doing me, and then that's it, let's see how everything turns out. Welcome to be so hopefully. Cuz, I'm fucking, I'm human, you know what I mean? We're human. We're human. We're fucking human. Blurring out faces and that, don't worry, nah. True, cuz. Mate, you know what I am? Don't let him ride it. The dirt bike bandit. Okay, yeah, so I met him over in just over in the street over here. I met him through my mate. Fucking, I thought my mate was taking a piss, and then boom, I fucking rode around him one day on a bike and that. Fucking, I was supposed to go out with him, but I thought he was just talking shit. And then bang, I was in the street talking to him. He's like, you know, you coming out now? And I was like, oh yeah, where? And then I seen this white Mercedes driving, and I was like, fuck off, you know, because I could see curse through the window, and I was like, fuck no way, lad. And boom, I felt like a gig too, you know. I was fucking dressed like a chap because I'm riding a motorbike and this cunt's fucking pulling up. He already knew who I was too, you know, so it was a bit of a spin out because he's already seen some of my videos. Showed him my part five, one take, I think, with one of them. But yeah, and fucking, he fucked with it though, you know. He fucking fucks with my music, so yeah, that's each one. But yeah, big up Curse, but he's a fucking legend. Straight up legend. Look at the fucking side, bro. On what? No. Need to sign a parent consent form? No! Get me out of it! I don't, don't want to be in there, that's fucking embarrassing. The green kneeling. Fuck off you, you're really fucking hell. He got fractured too, bro, because that cunt fucking started all this grind, bro. I remember listening to Smash Brothers and Sky High when that, I don't even know what this song's called, but bro, that was a banger of a track, lad, mums, bro. And once I started getting into that UK shit, I started listening to like Drill, I started listening to like AJ Tracy. That was who I was influenced heavy by, AJ Tracy, bro. And no cunt was really doing grind back then, bro. They didn't even know what the fuck it was, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
and I had these fast beats and that, and I used to fucking freestyle with like my cousin and shit, and he couldn't even freestyle to him. And then bang, I started writing the grind beats, bro, uploading them. Cunts were loving it. No cunt was really doing grind back then, bro. They didn't even know what the fuck it was, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I had these fast beats and that, and I used to fucking freestyle with like my cousin and shit, and he couldn't even freestyle to him. And then bang, I started writing the grind beats, bro, uploading them. Cunts were loving it. So then boom, I just kept on sticking with the grime and that, you know? Just fucking listening to grime always, you know? That's all I listened to, bro, it was just grime, you know? And then bang, fucking like, Venture or something dropped the track, and I was fucking with that, but I wasn't really fucking with like, you know, every come from the Oz scene. Yeah, listen to RV, Heavy One, Dave, Fredo. Fucking AJ Tracy, Slim, Slim's a beast, he's a fucking, I don't know, there's too many, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, I know, best, I reckon, best fucking UK driller, Abrick and Abrick for sure. <laughs> yeah, this comes a beast, but I want to tear up a track with this one, bro. From the UK, like, he's a fucking, I know he's got skills, but he's still a young cunt. Mm. Like, yeah. He's not weird. I used to listen to a lot of Ives too, and then his manager contacted me. Ives is from the UK, and then boom, I was fucking talking to his manager, and I thought at first it was shits and gigs. I thought he was taking the piss, you know? Yeah. So when it sussed out his profile and that, and it was his manager, and then he's saying, oh, I'll get you on a tune with Ives, and I was like, fuck off, you know? That's massive for me, because I've always listened to Ives. So then boom, he got me on that. I went to the studio like last week, I just finished that. I sent that to him, so that will get fucking, they'll get all like mastered and shit. I was alright, that's a good tune, I reckon that's a banger, but yeah, big up eyes bro from the UK because he's a fucking sick cunt. But yeah, I was fucking influenced off a little, like off off a lot of fucking UK stuff. A lot of Aussie stuff too, you know, like Sydney searches and shit. I had Loyal to the Game too packed, that was a fucking good album. That yeah. was like one of the first albums I ever got. That's what I like grew up listening to, like two pack. And I got Nebulizer. Oh yeah, Nebulizer, bro. That was a fucking mint album. That was probably like one of the fucking best albums, like, you know what I mean? Especially at that age, you know what I mean? And in that year. Oh yeah, that was a good album. Oh yeah, once, you got on, once I got on YouTube, but, you know what I mean? I just started finding, I just come across yeah. everyone. That's what I do. I just fucking surf the net, man. See, around this joint, bro, they still visit me. You know what I mean? They come around here, they still visit me. You gotta put the old fucking... Sandwich bag over the top of that. Oh, yeah. That's it, yeah. So she's fucking chopped up. She's a bit green. Fucking shit, lad. Whether it's putrid, bro. Usually, honestly, I'd be out fishing. Do you know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie. I love my fishing. Do you know what I mean? It keeps fucking keeps me away from all the crime and that. So, no fish getting caught fucking today. I tell ya. Where are they? Yeah, when it's down here, fucking... What did yeah. I tell you last time I took you out? Yeah, because you get in my way too much. Oh, <laughs> you don't know how to fish. Yeah. Yeah. In my it's way 24-7, you funny can. What do I do, fella? I sit on a chair, lad. Fix <laughs> lures, bro, and catches a fucking black marlin nearly every week, lad. At like one in the harbour. Catches big black marlin. Fish and talk. Fish and talk. That's all we do is fish. Yeah. yeah, big swells. Big swells, that. Choppy conditions. You shit. You shit. Because we go fishing everywhere. We go fishing at the harbour. We go fishing at Botany. Wherever the fish are biting, because we're there. Believe <laughs> Trust me. That kind's like the biggest sport right playing, that. Like. Probably the biggest. Like, that kind true. Tyrone, he should start streaming, lad. Like, true. He wants me off the Wi Fi. It's no drama. Where's the gas night? Well, are <laughs> you not taking it? Yet? She's full on around here, do you know what I mean? It's full on. Yeah, the re up show, but that was fucking mad, bro. Yeah. Gas night. Especially when she went past me tomorrow, too, you know? That was fucking. I wasn't expecting it, you know? But fuck. What do you do, you know? You just fucking shell it down, lad, and show them how the fuck it was done. But Wombat, bro, the energy of them cunts fucking in the room, bro. The fucking Wombat, bro, he's a fucking sick cunt. The all sick cunts, but... But yeah, it was gas night at the layup, bro. Fucking shout out Enter, bro, because if it wasn't for him, fucking, I wouldn't have had a good night, bro. Straight up, M41, like, 1 4 too, bro. Them cunts went off, lad, I'm telling you. 1 4's from Mount Druitt. Them right. cunts, bro, I'm telling you, they're the fucking. I'm telling you, bro, them cunts are next up, bro. I'm telling you, the only group that's putting in work, bro, they're the hardest, bro. To go check the scoreboards with them cunts, lad. Trust me, lad, they're winning, lad. But yeah, one four, bro. Let's fucking shout out to them cunts, bro. They're on top, bro. I'm telling you, they're dropping bangers, lad. Shanks and Chibs, bro. That's a fucking. 
That's a fucking YP, bro. He come out of nowhere, lad, and just boom. Fucking smash that shit, lad. Cold as fucking flowing Oz, lad. Straight up. He got YP because he's a fucking sick cunt. But yeah, they're all sick cunts, but they're like, like one too. So, yeah. I've got a fucking track drop with someone else, but I've got this solo track I'm working on, so I'm gonna try and get that out there. And then boom, after that. I don't know, I'm gonna try and focus on the album or something, maybe a mixtape, I don't know. Something like that, but I don't know what the future holds yet, so yeah. Fucking like 200 bucks, I still told it to you, and you did it. Do what? I mean, I'd give him 10 cents.